Dermot, 3-1 win against Whitehawk here this evening. Your thoughts on the game, first of all? I think very good first half. Moved the ball really well. Lots of movement. Um, good front play. Second half, I thought our levels dropped dramatically and I thought Whitehawk had the better of the chances and looked the better side second half. Uh, before the game, we mentioned the previous games in this competition. How do you think this one this evening compared to those two? Well, I was really pleased. I thought the atmosphere was fantastic. I thought Whitehawk fans turned up and our fans turned up and it was... Uh, they were in good voice, the fans, and playing on our pitch made it a, a proper game. So I thought the level was very good. A lot of changes this evening as well. Uh, what did you make of the boys that you gave minutes to? Well, I thought it's, it, you know, I don't want to be too hard. Like I said, the first 45, I was really pleased with them. I thought mentally, when you haven't played 90 minutes for a long period of time, which some of these boys haven't, because we don't have a 21s, um, it's tough on them. So I'm not going to be too hard on them. I, I just uh, said to them in the second half, we need the mental capacity to stay strong and do the simple things. Um, but you know they've got 90 minutes under their belt and they've won a game again, so well done to them. And the likes of Addison Garnett coming up against an experienced forward like Kevin Lisby can only be good for his development. Absolutely, I think he would have learned a lot tonight. I think their movement was very good at times. Um, and it's Addison's a young lad, and we know he's on the uh, he's young, it's just starting his career, and it's always good. He, come up against ex-pros with good movement, that's what defenders have got to read the game and it's not all about just heading balls in the air, it's actually watching their movement and covering the marking. Still filming? Okay. Yeah, mate, yeah. Good work out tonight, I mean, you've made progress in, in the competition, yeah. um, some good some good performances as well from players who at the moment aren't, you know, even in the, ma even in the match day squad at times, and uh, I think Whitehawk gave you a good good game as well. Absolutely, absolutely, um, you know, I thought their, their, their second half performance, they, they looked like a good goal, um, we could have been under pressure, and they, they, they took the game to us. Um, I think our levels, it was tough, um, so I'm not going to be critical of the players, it is sometimes very hard to come and do a 90 minutes against a very good side. So first half, I'll, I'll, I'll take a lot of pleasure out of how we move the ball, the quality of the midfield, um, Sanchez linking the play. Um, and I just thought second half, you know, we had to stay in the game. We did in the end. Uh, and as I say, you've got a chance, as you've done with the Checker Play Trophy this evening, to look at players that don't normally take a look at. So, you know, you've got guys that can't even get into 18 on that stage now, so a good run out for them. Yeah, I think it's, it's the, what we're trying to do is get strength in depth, and we've said that before. And um, it's tough if you don't get an opportunity and you're just training and then you're not even in the side. So this cup competition, to play here on the main stand, and like I said, in front of a really good vociferous crowd, both sets of fans, um, was good. And we go into a semi-final and whether, you know, whatever you think, we're in a semi-final of a cup competition. And it, it does give these lads 90 minutes, whereas training every day is enough for them. Talk about options and strength in depth, because 10 days into the transfer window. You said last week you'd, you'd sort of pulled out of a deal on, on a yeah. particular player. What's the current situation generally for bringing players in? Yeah, the current situation, we're waiting on one club on a loan, uh, if, and that's the players looking at a few clubs, whether he comes to us or goes to other clubs, or whether the club let him go. He's still up in the air, um, and I've got agents ringing me left, right, and centre offering me. So there's a lot of players on the market, but I also want to give some of the players here uh, a very good opportunity that have been with us. Um, and I had a good look tonight, so it's not a rush situation. I'm very pleased with our starting 11. I'm very pleased with the number of the subs. Um, we're fortunate to only have one injury at the moment, Matt Harold. So, you know, I can take my time at it. Um, and if the right guy comes up, then yes. Um, but I'm also um, pleased with some of the boys I've seen tonight. As been suggesting one local paper that you're looking at Rob Hunt, or you linked with Rob Hunt at Brighton. Can you comment on that at all? Yeah, no, we, we've spoken to Brighton. I think a number of clubs are looking at Rob Hunt, and I think Chris Houghton is, is um, weighing up his options with the player. You know, and we, if the player becomes available, then Chris knows we're interested. And um, the, the boy is local. He's a very good player technically, and he would add to our squad, but it's got to be right for obviously Brighton and Hove Albion and then the player. As I say, you mentioned obviously Matt Howard injured, AD Yusuf's gone back, so I presume your strike is still near the top of your list as well. Yeah, you know, Sanchez done very well first half for me, you know, and um, it's, it's tough on Sanchez when you don't get 90 minutes for a forward, you know, but he's, he's link up player and he was very intelligent and that's what I'm looking for. Um, and I do know that we'll get Matt Harrell back, so like I said, it's not, if a, if a player comes in that we go, yep, yeah, it's super, it's going to be the right move for the club, and it's the financial side of the club is very important to me as well. That, we get the player at the right price. Um, we don't put the club in any sort of jeopardy, and um, we wait and see what's available in the market. Turn attention to Saturday now if we can. Um, Hartlepool come here, and of course, as everyone knows, it's the 
big initiative by the club. Uh, yeah. Pay what you want on the gate. You must be hoping for a big crowd to come in and different people as well, new people coming back to watch football. Yeah, absolutely. Full credit to Graham Wright. Graham works tirelessly on the commercial side to get the club back up and into the business community, and he's doing a fantastic job. And I think it's a fantastic idea. Money's short for everyone in January. It will bring people in um, that will see the club, see the football. You know, they'll be in the bars. Hopefully, they'll buy the programs, buy the burgers and see what type of football we play, but you know, you've got to give um, the club full credit for this um, effort, fantastic. And then it's up to you guys to put on a show because you want them coming back next week. Absolutely, you know, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm talking to a lot of fans that say that they, they feel a wind of change in the club, they feel a way the club are playing the football, they feel a way of a link with the fans, so I think the club's moving in the right direction and I spoke to Zia and his representatives and eight months is a long time, but not a long time in football, and I think the club has taken a positive move everywhere, staff, admin staff, playing staff, um, supporters, and the way it's being organised, the commercial side's really got a drive on it, and everybody's really working hard to take this club forward, and I think at the moment the signs are very positive. And on Hartlepool themselves, I mean, they seem to be perennial slugs, well, actually, we were in League One a few years ago, but they, they seem to struggle, but they always hang in there, and uh, they won't just, you know, they'll provide a certain test. Yeah, I think everyone's got, in this league, everyone has a good run, everyone has a bad run. Then, then runs come to an end. We hope that articles doesn't come to an end at Crawley. And uh, they, uh, you, you've actually won your last three home games and mm. you talk about entertainment. I think a lot of fans have been well entertained in those three games as well. So something to really build on, sort of try and pick up off the back of. Yeah, I think the nucleus of the side is forming. Um, and the team, a lot of the players, without being arrogant, they know they're keeping their places because of performances. Moving Enzo up front has given us a, a, another angle to go for and the three at the back have been performing really well and sometimes we go with it and we see how long we can keep that momentum going and I think it's very important that the players here are very confident. I, I, I don't think I can ever fault the players for effort and commitment ever this season um, and I think certainly on our home games we really take the, take the game to the opposition.